Get the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. To qualify, you need to show that you need assistance with two of the activities of daily living. They are bathing, dressing, eating, toileting, transferring, right? Um, uh, transferring, for example, is getting up out of a chair, getting across the room and sit down, and sitting down. You need help with two of the activities of daily living. Or you need regular monitoring, regular monitoring because otherwise you're, you're, you, you are in danger. You could endanger yourself. In other words, people who have kind of serious dementia, so they really need to have somebody there all the time. The gatekeeper, once again, is Montechus at Home Care. Remember, you need to persuade them, they need to certify to Mass Health that that's the way it's going to work. Um, finally, suppose Frank is going to rehab. Well, we talked about this already a little bit. We talked about observation versus admission. Uh, if he gets to rehab and he hasn't been admitted for at least three days, then, then he's going to be picking up a big piece of the cost when he's in rehab. Um, how long can he stay? Is he getting better? Remember, the issue, the, the issue was recently that unless he could show that he was getting better, he could stay as long as he wanted, but it was going to be on his dime when he was in rehab, right? Now, because of the Jimmo case, as long as he can show that, he's, that he needs skilled care, he's going to be able to stay. Um, who's going to be paying? Medicare will pay the first 100 days. MassHealth will pay if he can show that he needs those, that assistance with two of the activities of daily living, right? Otherwise, he's stuck. I'm not going to talk about drugs because we're, 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 going to be, we're going to be running a little bit too close on time. But Oh, I do want to mention one thing, though, about drugs. So remember, Frank went to the hospital. And therefore, the hospital now, all the drugs are coming from the hospital pharmacy, right? And so, whoops, 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 I'm sorry. So all the drugs are coming from the hospital pharmacy. So you make, have to make sure that gets, that gets um, coordinated with his other drug plan. Then, oh, and by the way, at the hospital, all the drugs are paid by Medicare. It's through A. It's Medicare A, right? Uh, you're not paying Medicare D through your plan. Then he goes to rehab. Rehab, brand new pharmacy. Brand new pharmacy. So the, the hospital does a discharge plan and says to the rehab folks, rehab slash nursing home, uh, here are the, the drugs that we think Frank needs, right? But when he gets to the rehab facility, the doctor at the rehab facility goes back and looks at him and says, I agree or disagree, here are the drugs that Frank needs, right? So you want to make sure either you or your advocate, them, right, or a geriatric care manager wants to make sure that that doesn't get screwed up. Trust me, that gets screwed up. That happens. I mean, you've got a lot of people. This is a huge logistical thing. You've got people, I think the figure that I last heard was the average person who is over 70 is using 12 pill, they're taking like 12 pills in a week, right? Um, things get screwed up. So you want to have somebody who understands what those lists of words mean, the biago, clospil, whatever it is, and all the drugs, to make sure that that piece happens right. So when you get to rehab, though, and the, and the rehab um, doctor prescribes those drugs, and you're on Medicare, then Medicare is picking that up. Um, the important thing, though, to remember there is when you leave rehab, when you leave rehab, the, 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 the person from rehab is going to do a list of what the drugs are for when you get home. But when you get home, now you're on Medicare D, right? Now you're picking up the cost of the drugs. When you were in the rehab or in the hospital, those doctors really didn't care whether you were buying a, a regular name or a generic, right? Or whether that, that drug was on your Medicare D plan. Didn't make any difference. Medicare A or B were paying it. When you get home, though, you're going to be very interested in that, right? Most, I think the rule of thumb that I always hear from folks who are from the shine counselors is that the most important way to figure out whether you're getting a good deal on your D plan, right, is not what the price of the plan is, but whether your drugs are on it, right? So what you want to make sure, or your geriatric care manager wants to make sure, is that when you're going home, right, 
that the, that the drugs get changed. That, the, that, the, that if, if, you've got a, if you've got a particular drug that, is, that can be a substitute for, that, that is one on your plan, it can be a substitute for what is, was being prescribed at the rehab, you need to get that switched. Otherwise, you could find yourself with a gigantic bill uh, when you get home. We talked about hospital versus admission. Uh, we talked about stays. We talked about Medicare. Um, well, we already went through that, so I'm not gonna go through that again. Uh, we talked about rehab to home. Um, let's see. The family's role, and yeah, well, I think we talked about that. Finally, finally, um, do, how many of you folks know that um, if you are at home and not feeling good, that the doctor can prescribe a plan for you for, uh, for, for skill care at home, for nursing, et cetera, and that Medicare will pay that? Raise your hand if you knew that. Nobody ever knows this, right? Um, this is true, actually. Medicare, if, if your doctor, if you call, if you're not feeling great, right, Frank's not feeling great, and he calls his doctor, or the VNA, the VNA will typically come out to go, come and see him, right? Uh, and if they feel that he needs skilled care, that, he's, that he needs a nurse, that he needs a physical therapist, whatever, right? And they talk to your doctor, and your doctor uh, prescribes that, says that you need that care, then that care will be paid by Medicare in 60-day increments that can go forever. They can go forever. The reason why this is so important now uh, is because of, because of the Jimmo case, it may very well be that for people with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia, people who never used to be able to get this kind of Medicare coverage at home because the doctor would say, well, he's not getting any better or he's plateaued, these folks are now eligible for care. So just remember that one of the, if you're not feeling great, one of the first things that you want to do, right, or may want to do is call the VNA or call your doctor and see if you can actually get home care services. Uh, a couple of things. The goal of, all, the goal of all of this is to sleep well at night. That's the goal. Peace of mind. If none of this is relevant to you, then that's okay, right? If you've got any concerns about it, though, you want to try to address them. Um, all of my, th this presentation and all of my others are available on my YouTube channel. If you folks are Google people, you can uh, find all of them. Uh, and finally, I th as I mentioned that last month, a lot of the work that I do um, is involved with Alzheimer's and people who are worried about Alzheimer's and people who get it. But, but the in the long run, we ca and I can't solve the long run problem you know, in the short run as a lawyer, but in the long run, the issue is to try to find the necessary treatments and drugs and therapies that can reduce the incidence of Alzheimer's. Or you don't really care if you get Alzheimer's. What you care is if you get dementia, right? If, if you just kind of knew, it's like if you have cancer. If you have cancer, but nothing's happening, and, you know, you're living along and you got cancer, well, that's okay, right? Many of the, the, the drugs that are now being tested and actually being funded by the Alzheimer's Association are drugs meant to do that. They found now that if you have Alzheimer's, you can, that can be picked up years before you ever start getting dementia. And so now the goal is to find those folks who have got it and to find the therapies that can, keep, be, that can catch it before the dementia starts. So we're doing, we're, they do an annual walk, the walk to end Alzheimer's. Frank and Mary have got a team. We're encouraging people to join the team. Thank you very much. Any questions?